biodiesel. So uh, our topic, uh, project is the pro uh, synthesis of biodiesel from waste to be mild. As we all know, the, uh, the number of vehicles are increasing day by day. Because of that, uh, the number of the, uh, it increased the uh, air pollution uh, in our environment uh, due to the use of uh, fossil fuel. Uh, as we know that possible produce nitrogen uh, oxide, which uh, is the main impact for the air pollution in our environment. In order to replace the fossil fuel and also to reduce the pollution in our environment, uh, we have taken biodiesel as a fossil fuel because it is a renewable source of energy and it is biodegradable and also it is domestically produced from the waste like vegetable oil and animal fat. It is derived from uh, by the trans acidification method that will be discussed in, uh, further in our uh, presentation and it also can reduce the environmental degradation. So the goals. So in this pro pro uh, project we have used uh, different methods. In, uh, uh, throughout the uh, methods we have compared each and every, uh, each and every method. Uh, so we have used three methods that is trainer method, microwave, electrolysis. Uh, by comparing the efficiency and uh, effectiveness, we have uh, concluded the best method and also for the characterization, we have used FDIR and gas chromatography. So the next part is the state of synthesis that will be discussed by Ashwini. Thank you. Thank you, Uh, the 
appropriate amount of catalyst and the methanol were used and we mixed it and kept for two hours. But unfortunately, um, because of the the because of the electrodes, the graphite electrodes, we couldn't complete the reaction. So we run uh, we replaced it with carbon electrodes and. And we could complete the, like we were successful in that and we got the result. Now, uh, Jitin will be talking the, about the next phases now. Thanks. So I'm going to talk about the microwave assisted extraction of biodiesel from waste cooking oil. So this we use 35 ml of waste cooking oil and 12.25 ml of cellulose and 12.75 gram of sodium hydroxide. So we just prepare the solution and give it to the research department. So the temperature you need to go to the process about 15 degrees Celsius and the time required for these two hours. Then the separation of biodiesel. We use gravity separation method for the separation of biodiesel for the power of the resultant mixture. Methods and we have uh, classified our results on the basis of the characterization and the quantity. So it's basically two different types that is quality and quantity. So if I talk about the yield, that is actually the quantity, what we got the highest yield is uh, we got the highest yield by this method electrolysis, and we got Prina method that is little bit short. And the microwave was the least. The percentage yield which we found maximum is uh, the electrolysis, which has uh, good conveniency over the quality, uh, quantity. Uh, so yes, on the basis of quality, uh, we did check the characterize, characterization process by two methods, that is FTIR and GC. So uh, what GC was, the main purpose for GC is the chromatography is a basic method for uh, finding the standards and the components that are present in the uh, uh, sample. So uh, for the first, uh, I'll start with FTIR. Uh, the first graph is of waste oil and the P, which we get at the 3000 uh, centimeter and 1500 and 1000 uh, were the original oil which we actually begin with and the overlap results are the method which we have used it which is overlapped uh, with the uh, process itself so uh, there are three different graphs uh, that is trailer electrolysis and microwave we all got uh, we we got graph uh, the same peaks uh, with the uh, same method and there is no changes we could find for this. So we, we, we tried to analyze these results on the basis of GC. So this is the in the general graph of the peaks which we got. And this is the uh, result of uh, different methods like first is electrolysis and uh, uh, at the retention time of 11 and 12 so 
we got some peaks which indicates the carbon number, uh, which indicates the elution of carbon number at uh, 11, 12, and 30. Uh, so we have found out from our papers that the retention time of the compounds which present in biodiesel is after 8 to 50. More components can be found after 15 minutes, but lack of the time, uh, we didn't find much time for DC, so we did go for 15 minutes only. So the peak which we found at 11, uh, that is 13, 8, 55, and at 12, this shows that the components that like folic acid or diolic or monoolic compounds can be present, which indicates the uh, formation of biodiesel. Uh, same uh, with the microwave technique uh, and the trainer technique. So that's what we conclude. Thank you. Okay, so that was ten minutes. <laughs> Um, now, I know I pressured you um, for time because you started late, um, so I don't know if that changed anything. Uh, I'm going to open it now to questions from groups. Remember, I asked you guys to think about questions, and this is a good opportunity to, uh, for the group to practice answering questions. So I wanna, want you to take turns answering questions. Um, and... Uh, um, Yeah, so anyone from or fellow students from the other groups, questions? Um, yes, good point, yeah. So there's no um, next steps in your presentation. Can you answer what? Um, as a question, what is your recommended next steps in this work? So like for biodiesel extraction, there are lots more methods. So I think like lot more method as well as we can use make different catalysts. So that would be like uh, since it was a practice question, we didn't get much time to do that. So in the next presentation, I'll be adding that. So mostly based on catalysts, uh, I'll be thinking of uh, we'll be thinking of adding the catalyst. So different catalysts can be used. Um, I have a question while your fellow students think about more. In the chromatography slides that you presented, we can't read which ones represent which samples. Um, and your x-axis is far too small for us to see any differences. Um, so if you can bring that slide back up, can you address which chromatograph corresponds to which product? And then go through that again. Your your evaluation of. I think if you uh, right click, you'll get a back option on the slide.
the meantime, does anyone else have any questions? Perfect. Okay, we're, we'll, we'll wait, head back until because there seem to be. So, uh, the first result is electrolysis, uh, the second is microwave, and the third is strainer, and the last one is waste oil. So, What we have concluded from this is like uh, the retention time of carbon with uh, after eight minutes. What we have concluded is like after eight minutes, the compound like higher chains of carbon that elute out after like eight minutes to fifteen minutes, I guess, and uh, between uh, like ten to eleven and eleven to twelve, we got highest solution time of uh, the carbon. So we did conclude that we might get the components of bar diesel at that point, like uh, in 10 and 12. So we did conclude on the basis of that that we might get bar diesel because we don't have references. We did have a little bit of references that shows the graph uh, that is similarly matching little bit to our results, what we got, and the characterization which we have done with these three processes. So it was like, uh, we did that graph on like, between 10 to 11, and we did conclude that it contained the components that are present in the power diesel. This is how we concluded. Okay, can someone else address why eight minutes is important? Okay, I'll answer the question for you. It may not be eight minutes. Do you remember I discussed with you the cetane number, which is C10? Yes. And you know where C10 comes out. Everything higher than that is of lesser caloric value. So it isn't as good a fuel. So the more components you have beyond wherever C10 comes out, the poorer quality that fuel is. Um, and it's not just the number of peaks here, you should have assessed the area above that C10 position. So I see an enormous peak, if these are all the same concentration, on the first scan, and I've forgotten already what sample that is, I would suggest on this slide that you put in very large letters over top in the low time section of the chromatogram exactly what your sample is but whatever that top one is has a, an extremely large peak in fact that leaning shape means you've overloaded your column which means you probably haven't separated things properly um, <clears throat> but it's the area of that peak that you need to be comparing to the ones underneath Okay, so we talked about that, comparing areas of the different components um, for each peak, and then if you can make correlations. So I see the same two peaks. I think it's 14 minutes. No, it's 12, just below 12 minutes. I'm not saying it's a question, but I just want to know 
are you guys satisfied with your results? Like after three months of practices and everything, what you got as a result, are you guys satisfied? Is it what you expected, the final results? Let's just say that uh, we didn't expect this, but yeah, we did end up with this. We might get better or better way to get better results or like any mistakes that you made? Of course, mistakes are the things from which we can learn. So yeah, we do know what mistakes we have done. We might have experience in it that can actually get a good result. But no, anyway, we can do better next time. Any other questions? Two members haven't addressed a question. Um, in your microwave work, um, which one of the scans, and um, I'm addressing uh, 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 Jethan, which one of those scans is, is your microwave? Okay, and describe for me what the conditions of your microwave cook were and what the problem was with those conditions. So the microwave taking the temperature of 60 degrees Celsius at the time it was more than two hours, uh, but we, we just cooked that. We actually we need to adjust the temperature, like ground temperature. Okay, um, to me that wasn't a clear explanation. Do you want to take another try at that? <laughs> and your voice is too low, I couldn't hear some of it. It's part of the problem. And there's chatting over here that's distracting me. So you talked about the amount of time spent. The time was two hours, but unfortunately we didn't do like round temperature like Increasing the, the temperature like particular degree Celsius and keep the temperature for one or two hours, like hold the temperature, then we didn't reduce the temperature to zero. Okay. Instead of that, we did like keep the cooking oil for 60 degrees Celsius for two hours. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to let you guys step down in the next group, um, step up. Uh, Anyone who's filled out one of those forms, and I hope everybody did, um, I'll collect those. And uh, you don't have to have your name on it, but make sure, well, actually it doesn't matter, but put the biodiesel group's name on the top. Um, and take, actually, take a couple minutes while group two, you can get up and uh, sign yourselves in and get your PowerPoints up while everyone takes a minute to fill out the rest of the uh, feedback form.